Hey everyone, Chris Stoltz coming at you with Dave, and we are at Zips Toys in Havertown. We are here to find some movies and Muppets. Well, obviously for me, it's just Muppets. Mostly Muppets. Mostly Muppets. I mean, hopefully so we'll find some Muppets. It's always the, it's always it's the it's Muppets. All, I mean, you're here for Muppets, so that's what we're trying that's to find. Shirt. You can give me a shirt. Mostly Muppets. Mostly Muppets. We're here for Mostly Muppets, so we'll see what we can find. All right, let's go check it out. Zips Toys is located in this old house, and I can't wait to show you all the amazing stuff in there. Right away, as we walk in the door, there are some Muppet Babies PVC figures here. This one's from Applause, that one's from McDonald's. They have the Jack and the Beanstalk. This is the, from the Storybook Collection. Look at this baby Fozzie as Jack and the Beanstalk. There's some Roger Rabbit PVC figures here. All right, I'm already freaking out. This is awesome, and we uh, just walked in the door. This place has just an amazing amount of cool plush. There's some old school Bert and Cookie Monster puppets down there. But uh, what I'm just blown away by is this amazing Eden Kermit. He is just in incredible condition. It's still mint, of course, with his tags. Look at that. That is just incredible. It looks just like it did in the early 90s when it was released. I am just flabbergasted. It's just incredible. Up here at the register, they also have a whole bunch of old vintage sesame figures and even a vintage Miss Piggy ornament back there. That is just incredible. Oh my goodness, look at this stuff. Sesame Street Put and Play Magic Show complete a picture story with reusable vinyl pieces. You got the amazing Mumford pulling a uh, Grover out of a hat there. This is wild. I don't think I've ever seen this before. That is really, really cool. I don't know if it has, oh, maybe it still has its pieces. Oh, it still has its pieces in the back. That is really awesome. Also have the first issue of Muppet Magazine featuring Robin Williams and the Sesame Street Ernie's work of art and disguise kit. That is wild. And it comes with little masks of the Count, Ernie, Prairie Dawn, and Oscar. All right, that, that is too crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now we're upstairs and there's a whole section of the Flintstones 1994 movie merchandise, including a plush of Dino, which of course the Henson Company designed. That is awesome. I don't have a Dino like that. I don't think I've ever even seen a Dino plush. I've seen the smaller figures, of course, but wow, that is awesome. They even have miniature Dino plush as well. Whole. Oh, okay, that is super tempting. Over here, there's a whole section of Happy Meal and fast food premium toys, including, of course, including the Fraggle Rock McDonald's car toys. And of course, there's even a Moki PVC back there. That's awesome. There's even a Barkley PVC, as you can see as well. In this bin that says $3 each, there is not one, but two Squire Trulone, otherwise known as Fozzie Bear, in his Muppet Treasure Island bucket from McDonald's. That is awesome. You could play with him in the tub and his head would pop out like as he was just bounding through the, bounding through the sailing main? No, sailing through the bounding main. That's what I wanted to say. There's a whole section of PVC figures over here, including a whole line of Sesame Street ones. Ernie's like falling down. I'm not sure what happened to Ernie there, but there's just a whole great, look at this awesome, I think that's Prairie, Betty Lou and not Prairie Dawn. That's probably a European release. That is awesome. I might have to, Check the price on that. That is really, really cool. There's all kinds of stuff here. Tiny Toons, Looney Toons, Marsupilami, all kinds of Disney, all kinds of great stuff. This is just incredible. I mean, you just can't, you know, find this stuff all over the place. These uh, Sesame Street ones in the cars, I think I have those still in the box, but these other PVC figures are just incredible. That is just super, super tempting. So I checked and they're only asking $5 for this. So I think I'm going to have to pick this up. Over here is a whole bunch of dinosaurs McDonald's figures, still brand new in their packages. These are great. You kind of push this little button here and it sent an air shock wave down through the tube to the character and they would do an little action like Baby would bang on this pot and Robbie would rock on his guitar and uh, Charlene would be on the phone and all this crazy stuff. They even have some of the Happy Meal boxes there too. That is so cool. Underneath this whole display of cells, there's a whole section of calendars under here. 
and I found this Sesame Street family album calendar from 1975 filled with holidays, birthdays, and surprises galore. That is wild. I've never seen this before. It's got all kinds of cool little information. Of course, a calendar itself. There's a Maria cleaning up the street. Here's a Bert's pictures from his trip to the beach, which, I mean, I guess Ernie took because uh, you can barely see Bert in them. That's kind of wild. Just really, really cool. All right. Gotta find out how much that is. There's a whole section of space merchandise over here, including Lost in Space, which the Henson Company did some of the creatures for, like this Glorp. That's cool. I've never seen a uh, PVC of him before. They also have a couple other figures and cups from that movie, which are fairly rare because I don't think they did very well. So they didn't make a whole lot of merch or they, maybe they thought it was going to do better. But that is wild. I wonder how much they're asking for that. I might have to pick him up because I am a sucker for creature shop creatures that are fairly rare and hard to find. Okay, and so we've come to the Muppet section. And uh, luckily it has shrunk since the last time I was here. But there is still just some amazing things that I don't have that I am seriously freaking out over. Um, not as much as Big Bird 25th, ugh, 25th anniversary, excuse me, 25th anniversary plush. That is still awesome. Nor this uh, Baby Kermit bank, which is just amazing. But the Baby Kermit snow globe and these Baby Kermit, I don't even know, tub pirates washcloths still brand new and factory sealed in the box. That is totally incredible. There's some really interesting PVC figures here. Two copies of the Muppet Show book. A pop-up book of Grover's Surprise. Sesame Street going for a ride punch out. What is this one here? They got this sticker fun a day at school. And then there's a whole separate shelf on the bottom here with a bunch more plush and PVC figures. Look at this Alice plush. That is awesome. And there's a Telly plush back there too. Some Bert and Ernie. Oscar Grungetta. You don't see a whole lot of Grungetta merchandise. There's a plush of Grungetta back there. Wow. Okay. This is going to take me a while to go through, but I'm already seeing a couple things I'm more than likely going to pick up. Okay. So now we've been in there for God knows how long. And I picked up some just amazing, incredible stuff that I can't wait to show you. So, all right. I will see you back in the Muppet Stuff Museum. So now Dave and I have come into a Goodwill to see what we could find here. And you know, we weren't finding too much. I found this really interesting Sesame Street bag that's, you know, personally signed by all the characters and Dave was not having it. He's not happy that I want to want to buy this. You know, you know what? You know what Sesame Street is? It's dirty. You need something to clean yourself. That's what you need. You need something to clean all that, that Sesame Street away. Well, that's a good thing because... Why? Why? Why would you say that? Because that leads into the next item I just happened to find. No oh, way! Well, a segue? Who would have guessed? <laughs> Okay, Segway! Segway! Because the item at hand is this amazing vintage Hallmark Swine Trek Pigs in Space soap set featuring Dr. Strange Pork, Link Hogthrob, and Miss Piggy in soap form. That is just incredible. As the amazing Dave shows off, it's amazing. Well, how much is that? How much is that before you uh, use it? One ninety nine. Two bucks for that. That is insane. No, to find. that's in space oh correct right because that's where the pigs are so obviously now i am back here in the muppet stuff museum fresh off my thrifting adventure so let me show you what i picked up first up is this muppet babies baby kermit snow globe by dakin and as you can see it is still brand new and factory sealed which is just incredible. Let's check out the packaging. The front says Dakin Snow Globe and has a picture of the snow globe. While the back says Muppet Babies Snow Globes. Just shake and watch your favorite Muppet Babies be surrounded in a wintry shower of opulescent flakes. And just to be clear, this is for decorative purposes only, not recommended for children under five years of age. Let's open it and check it out. Whoa, okay, so that was a little tougher to get out of the outer box than I expected, but as you can see, it's still in its original styrofoam. So let's check it out. Wow, this thing is much bigger than I was expecting. It is awesome. Check it out. Baby Kermit riding a sled. Actually, it's a sled with a Christmas tree on it. So he's on a Christmas tree on a sled. That is really cool. Is it a little Santa outfit? It says Hoppy Holidays on the front. All right, let's uh, shake it up. 
That is wild. It still works. You can see a bunch of little stars and all kinds of little snow stuff happening in there. That is really, really cool. Of course, as you can see, obviously it's in mint condition. It's probably never been taken out of that box ever. I mean, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's minty fresh. It's baby Kermit. It's happy holidays. It's all these things rolled into one. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully put it back into its styrofoam and then back into its outer box. And I think I'll put it either with the Muppet Babies, uh, but probably it'll wind up in the holiday section with the other holiday items, because I think that's probably more appropriate, but that is super, super cool. Next, we have another Muppet Babies item. Here we have the Muppet Babies Tub Pirates Expandable Washcloths. And this is the display box they originally came in. These were put up by Applause, and the front of the box features an image of Baby Gonzo, Baby Rolf, Baby Fozzie, Baby Piggy, Baby Kermit, and Baby Animal in a pirate setting. I should note that the box is still in mint condition, and it even has this section that says, Retailer, remove this portion of packaging to display product, which they never removed. So, tisk tisk for not following directions, but thankfully they didn't because the box is now still in mint condition. Okay, so now we're going to open the box, which reveals the expandable washcloths inside. I'm not sure if this is the whole line, but as you can see, the line consisted of at least Baby Kermit, Baby Piggy, and Baby Fozzie as pirates. Of course, what you do is take off this outer plastic and the washcloth is so compact inside, it springs open and you have a brand new washcloth that only takes up this much space in its original packaging, but I'm sure it takes up at least this much space in your closet. I am not going to reveal what the image is. I'm assuming it's a picture of Baby Kermit as a part like this. It could be something else. I looked online and I couldn't find any information about these, so they must be pretty rare. These are part of a much larger Tub Pirates line put out by Applause in 1989, which also featured plush and PVC versions of the characters as pirates. Next, we have a Creature Shop character that I'm sure most of you are not familiar with. Here we have a Blarp PVC figure from the 1998 Lost in Space movie, which Jim Henson's Creature Shop did the creatures for. While I've seen a few Blarp and other pieces of Lost in Space merchandise over the years, I have never seen this PVC before. Here we see him kind of just sitting there with this little tag on his hand, this nice innocent face. I haven't seen the movie in years, so I'm not quite sure how innocent he is, but at least in this pose, he seems just to be giving that little Oh, cutesy face, which, um, how could you not like? Even if that movie just wasn't well received. Conversely, next up is a character that everyone's familiar with because it's a golf ball featuring Kermit. So here we have a Wilson golf ball featuring Kermit's face in front of a giant flipper with two golf clubs behind him, one with a flippered end with a banner that reads, Veritas in Veride. I don't speak Latin, so I'm not quite sure what that says, but comment down below if you can translate it. These are part of a much larger line of Kermit golf items, including prints, ties, and other golf-related items. Another Kermit item I just couldn't resist was this posable Kermit plush put out by Eden Toys in 1993. As you can see, it's still brand new and has its tags, and this thing is in immaculate condition. The tag says, Jim Henson's Kermit the Frog, bendable, Pose me in different positions. An Eden gift. And it features an illustration of Kermit on a lily pad holding a dragonfly while other frogs in the swamp look on. And it opens up to reveal a Jim Henson quote. There is a sense of our characters caring for each other and respecting each other. A positive feeling. A positive view of life. That's the key to everything we do. For more than 35 years, Jim Henson's Muppets have delighted millions of people throughout the world. Their magical mix of humor, charm, and heart have proven to be a universal form of communication, crossing boundaries of language, culture, and nationality, appealing to audiences of all ages. Ian Toys brings Jim Henson's Muppet characters to you, continuing the humor, music, learning, and love started so many years ago. Kermit is the leading man of the Muppets, the affable everyman who always has the audience rooting for him and his friends. He is the calm center around whom all the Muppet chaos takes place. Kermit is sensitive, thoughtful, decent, and all those other things we each aspire to. But his most enduring quality is his ability to endure the particular behavior of his friends 
and to encourage them to reach for the stars. Again, I was shocked to see this in such great condition. I've had one of these for many years, but it didn't have its tag. And as you can see, it didn't have the luster that this one had. My original one sort of has a much darker green to it. So when I saw this in such great condition, there was no way I was gonna pass this up. Another vintage plush I just could not resist was this original Telly plush put out by Applause in the early 90s. He has this great fluff of hair. The whole thing is just in super minty condition. Of course, he still has his tags and is just incredible looking. And you don't see Telly on merch that much. So when I saw this, I just could not resist. The tag says, everyone loves Applause and has the Sesame Street characters of Big Bird, Grover, Cookie Monster, Oscar, and Bert and Ernie which opens to say, my name is Telly, and I worry what to do, but I know I'd never worry if I had a friend like you. Oh, that's nice to hear, Telly. I'm surprised it didn't come with like a triangle or something, some sort of learning element, but I think this is before Telly discovered his love of triangles. Another Sesame Street character you don't see on merch much is Betty Lou, and here we have a Betty Lou PVC figure put out by Comics Spain in 1984. Here you can see her with one pigtail in the front and the other behind in a blue dress with blue shoes accompanied with a blue bow holding a multicolored pinwheel. Again, this was produced by Comics Spain and was intended to be a UK exclusive. As you saw underneath a rack of cells and calendars, I spotted this Sesame Street family album calendar, still brand new and in mint condition. So let's check it out. Random House slash Children's Television Workshop present the Sesame Street family album by Michael Frith featuring Jim Henson's Muppets with a complete calendar for 1975 filled with holidays, birthdays, and surprises galore. And this was not only written, but also illustrated by Michael Frith. The front features an illustration of Ernie with an old time camera taking a photo of Big Bird holding a sign with Little Bird on Ernie's left hand acting as the flash. Just below the camera, we see Grover and Sherlock Hemlock putting pictures in a scrapbook. All right, first up is January. And for January, we see Bert and Ernie building a snowman. Here I am showing my old buddy Bert how to make a big snowball. Now I'm showing Bert how to make a bigger snowball. And now I'm showing Bert how to make the biggest snowball of all. Here I am showing Bert how to make a face on the snowman. And here's our snowman. Pretty good, huh Bert? January is sizes month with the special days, find out how much you weigh day, find out how tall you are day, measure your mother day, rubber duckies birthday, measure your feet day, and Ernie's birthday. Okay, next month obviously is February. February, Big Bird visits his cousin. Here's a picture of me coming to visit my cousin, Buscum the Baker. This is cousin Buscum Bird. He is carrying a delicious bird seed pie. Another cousin has arrived. Oh goody, it is police officer Bertha Bird. She is one of my favorites. Now Fire Chief Bagshot Bird is here too. The last one to come in is my cousin Bethesda Bird. The doctor. And here we all are. Isn't it nice that so many cousins came to call today? And February is People in Your Neighborhood Month, which features Thank a Mailman Day, Visit a Baker Day, Pretend You're a Bus Driver Day, Gordon's Birthday, and Wave to a Garbage Man Day. Next is March, the Great Sesame Street Alphabet Show, ABCD. First, the Incredible Alphabet Acrobats, EFGH. Next, the Great Bert and his sensational flying pigeons. I-J-K-L-M. Here is the fantastic bouncing bird. Oops. N-O-P-Q. And now the amazing Mumford's magic letters. A la peanut butter sandwiches. R-S-T-U-V. Presenting Oscar and his wonder worms starring Slimy as the letter S. W-X-Y-Z. And the last of all, the mighty monsters. What a show. And March is alphabet month with the special days looking for things beginning with H day, the big blizzard of 1888, look for things beginning with S day, big bird's birthday, little blizzard of 1929, and say the alphabet day. All right, heading on to April. April, the monster's picnic. Harry, Cookie, and Grover are going up the hill to have a picnic. Harry is playing up the tree, Cookie and Grover are down on the ground, and Harry is over Grover. And oops, Grover is under Harry. The monsters are sitting around the picnic blanket. They are ready to have their picnic. Hortense is in the picnic basket. The picnic basket is in Hortense. 
The picnic blanket is in Harry. The picnic basket is in Cookie. Grover is going down the hill to buy a hot dog. April is up, down, and all around month. With the special days, walk around things day, jump over things day, look down day, Sherlock Hemlock's birthday, look up day, look under things day, and Mr. Hooper's birthday. Next is May, Oscar's worst day. This is a picture of me, Oscar the Grouch. And this is the day I hate most. Everybody is getting ready to clean up Sesame Street. It's awful. They sweep up all the nice dirt off the sidewalks. They pick up all the wonderful yucky trash that's lying around. They get rid of all the old tin cans and papers on the street. Then, do you know where they put all that stuff? In trash cans! You know, some things about cleanup day aren't so bad. If you happen to live in a trash can, that is. May is clean up month with the special days, loyalty day, plant a flower day, Susan's birthday, take a bath day, clean your room day, help clean your street day, love a tree day, Sam's birthday, and water a flower day. Next is June. Prince Charming to the rescue. There is poor, poor Rapunzel. She is trapped in that tower and can't get down. She looks very, very sad. Now here I come. Doesn't Rapunzel look happy to see me? Rapunzel is letting down her long, long hair. She is so excited. I am climbing up to rescue her. My, I feel so brave. Now I am letting Rapunzel down. Aren't I so wonderful? Oh, I feel so proud. There goes Rapunzel. She is very happy. But now I am trapped in the tower. I'm so mad I could squash a pea. June is Feelings Month with the special days, Oscar's birthday, Children's Day, Kemihamiha Day, Don't Be Scared Day, Make an Angry Face Day, National Trash Day, Don't Get Mad Day, Look Surprised Day, Tell Your Mother You Love Her Day, and Maria's Birthday. Moving on to July, the lemonade stand. Oh look, a lemonade stand. Everybody bringing something to help. Ernie brings sugar. The Count brings 12 lemons. He counted them. Bert brings pitcher of ice water. Isabella make sign. That is cooperation. Now guess who helped mix lemonade? Gulp. Yum. Oh boy. That was very good lemonade. And that pitcher was delicious. Sign not bad either. Thanks. And July is cooperation month with the special days. Guy Smiley's birthday. Help your mother day. Help your father day. Play on a seesaw day. And Bert's birthday. And now here comes August. A day at the beach. Photos by Ernie. Here's a picture of my old buddy Bert and the beautiful sandcastle he built. Unfortunately, all the picture shows is Bert's legs and feet. Old buddy Bert asked me to take a picture of him wearing his super new sunglasses. But most of the picture seems to be Bert's ear. Here is Bert swimming. Isn't that a good picture of Bert's hair? Here's Bert feeding a seagull. It shows what a really nice elbow Bert has. Here's old buddy Bert looking at all the great pictures I took of him. Boy, what a great photo this is of Bert's head. How do you like them, Bert? August is Body Parts Month with these special days. Wiggle Your Toes Day, National Nose Day, Bob's Birthday, Snuffleupagus's Birthday, Bend Your Knees Day, Wash Your Ears Day, and Harry's Birthday. Moving on to September, Roosevelt Franklin washes his dog. Here is Roosevelt Franklin filling the tub with water. Now Roosevelt is taking his dog, Night Train, over to the tub. Roosevelt is putting Night Train into the tub. Roosevelt is giving Night Train a nice scrub. There, see how clean Night Train is? And Roosevelt did it, all by himself. Good for you, Roosevelt Franklin. September is Do-It-Yourself Month, with the special days Paint a Picture Day, Roosevelt Franklin's Birthday, Comb Your Hair Day, Make Your Bed Day, Tie Your Shoelace Day, The Second Annual Grouch Day, Smiley's Birthday, National Dog Week, Button Your Buttons Day, and Make Up a Song Day. October is the Count's Birthday Party. Greetings, it is I, the Count. Bert and Ernie have brought me a birthday present. It is a lovely one and a beautiful two. Here are my presents from Sherlock, Grover, and Betty Lou. Just what I always wanted, a three, a four, and a five. Look, look, presents from Roosevelt and his mother and from Herbert, six, seven, and eight. And from Cookie Monster and from Granny Fanny, nine and ten. It's wonderful, wonderful. Now it is time for the party. But first, let us count the guests. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let us count the presents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let us count the candles. Isn't this fun? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. October is counting month, which features these special days. Count the days in October day, David's birthday, count your teeth day, the count's birthday, count your feelings day, Grover's birthday, poetry day, count your buttons day, count your toes day, and count your family day. November features Oscar's shape collection. Everybody thinks trash is no good for anything, but here are some pictures of me showing some really great stuff for my famous trash collection. First, look at me holding that handsome old picture. Somebody threw it out, and it's a perfectly good square. There's a soggy comic book. It may not be much good for reading, but it's a great rectangle. And look at that rusty bicycle wheel. It's a really fine circle. I had a hard time finding a triangle, but then somebody threw out this beautiful piece of old smelly cheese. Isn't it great? I just don't understand why anyone would throw all this terrific stuff away. And November is Shapes Month with these special days. Look for Circles Day, Cookie's Birthday, Look for Rectangles Day, Square Dance Day, Luis's Birthday, Look for Triangles Day, Play a Triangle Day, and National Cookie Week. Finally, we come to December, which is the Amazing Mumford's Christmas Show. This is a picture of the Amazing Mumford. He's about to perform his most famous trick, pulling a rabbit out of his hat. Oh dear, he seems to have pulled a red ball, and a green ball, and some yellow ribbon, and a beautiful blue star. Merry Christmas, Mumphy, and here's a nice new white rabbit for your hat. December is Colors Month, which features the special days Eat a Red Apple Day, Wear Brown Shoes Day, Paint a Purple Cow Day, Find Something Yellow Day, Little Bird's Birthday, and Be Nice to Green Things Day. The back says, The Sesame Street Family Album and Calendar for 1975. Twelve delightful new picture stories, one for every month of the year, all about numbers, letters, shapes, and sizes, and many other learning goals from Sesame Street. And if you didn't notice, Michael Frith put a cameo of himself in the calendar, in the square photo Oscar holds. So then we left Zip's Toys and went to some other thrift stores, but I had this nagging feeling that I really should have picked something else up. So we went back to Zip's Toys, where I picked up the Baby Alice plush by Applause, which as you can see is still also in brand new and mint condition, and of course also still has her tags which opens to say, here's baby Alice. She's Snuffy's baby sister, and she'd love to play with you. Her brother takes good care of her, and he knows that you will too. And while there's no copyright on it, I'm pretty sure this was released in 1988, and it's one of the few pieces of merchandise featuring Alice. After we left Zip's Toys for the second time, we then checked out a local Goodwill, where I picked up a whole bunch of gift bags. But not for this gift bag, for this gift bag, featuring the Sesame Street characters in sort of a Walk of Fame-like image. As you can see, they're all in individual boxes with their signatures. So we have Oscar, Cookie Monster, Elmo, Ernie, Big Bird, Grover, Bert, Zoe, Rosita, and then the image repeats again with Oscar, Cookie Monster, and Elmo. It even still has its original tag and features Elmo, Ernie, Big Bird, and Cookie Monster's signature over pastel colored squares. But that wasn't the only thing I spotted there. Because as I came around a corner, I spotted this Hallmark Swine Trek soap set. Still brand new and factory sealed. The set features Dr. Strange Pork, Captain Hogthrob, and Miss Piggy in soap form. With the box featuring the Swine Trek ship. It says Swine Trek on the top of the box. While the back says Swine Trek. Time for Pigs in Space. Featuring the decisive Dr. Julius Strange Pork, the courageous Captain Link Hogthrob, and the ever-lovely ever-present first mate, the divine Miss Piggy. These French-milled, lightly-scented bath bars add a touch of cosmic adventure to any bathing experience. From the Hallmark Bath Collection, and it was released in 1981, which just blew my mind to find just sitting there at a Goodwill. While I already have one of these in my collection, I could not resist picking this up. Our last stop took us to a Barnes & Noble, where I found this copy of John Landis's Horror Movie Monsters, 100 Years of Movie Nightmares which features a page on Christmas carols featuring the Muppet Christmas Carol, a surprisingly faithful adaptation with Michael Caine as a first-rate Scrooge, 
a page on Gorgons, which features an image from Perseus and the Gorgon, a good retelling of the Greek myth on Jim Henson's The Storyteller, an excellent but short-lived television series, and Trolls, with an image of Ludo from Labyrinth. Rob Mills as Ludo, one of the many terrific fantasy creatures that populate Jim Henson's fairy tale. David Bowie played Jareth, the Goblin King. The section on Star Wars monsters features an image of Yoda from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. In the earlier movies, Yoda, voiced by the great Frank Oz, was originally a puppet. Here he is, a CG character. I think that Yoda lost some of his charm when he ceased to be a puppet and became a bunch of pixels. But that's just me. And I think most fans would agree. And while so many legendary monster makers get a shout out, unfortunately the creature shop is not mentioned. Nor, for some reason, is the Dark Crystal, which, when you're talking about movie monsters, has to be some of the most imaginative and ugly in the best possible way. Movie monsters of all time. We found a lot of great other non-Henson-related items as well, so if you want to see what else we found, be sure to watch Retro Rest Stop's video, which I'll put in the description below. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item from this video was. Please be sure to follow us on all our social media channels, and I'll see you next time from the Muppet Stuff Museum. All right, what did Dave find? So as cool as your, your PVC figures are, I found what you absolutely need for your collection. Mr. Peabody. And his Sherman. <laughs>